Okay, can everyone hear me okay? If you can just give me a thumbs up, good, okay. Let's just take a moment to be with our body and with our breath. And to just fully exhale. I'm going to take a full deep inhale. And then let it out. And just begin to drop your awareness down, down into your body. Tonight is an invitation to be with our hearts and to see what it can feel like in our body and in our consciousness to keep an open heart amidst difficulty and challenge and everything that's happening in the world right now. Can we work with the energies of the lung meridian, the heart meridian to see what wisdom our hearts want to reveal to us and also to have an intention of just keeping our hearts open, aligned in times, especially when we're feeling a lot and when our hearts may want to close. So that's an invitation we'll hold with ourselves tonight. And for those of you that are just coming on, I've included a link in the chat box if you want to listen to a playlist that I've created for the class tonight as we move through these poses. Um, I'm going to keep that for you to use on your own just so that when I upload this recording, I'll be able to share it. So let's just take a moment to personally to see if you have any intentions for your practice tonight. We may all be coming from different places, might be feeling different things. If there's a word, a feeling, anything you'd like to embody as part of our practice this evening, you can just call that to mind and breathe it into the heart. Begin to notice the breath, the quality of your rise and the fall. See if you can guide the breath down, down, down into the hips. Filling up the chest, filling up the shoulders, filling up through the crown of the head and then exhaling it all out. And again, filling up all the way down into the root, all the way up to the crown, and then slowly exhaling it out. Continue with your breath. You can gently just allow your gaze to soften, eyes to open out in front of you. And to bring your hands up to your heart, and we'll just begin to bring awareness into the heart space. So you can use your hands to just begin to open up in the heart chakra. The heart meridian is one that goes in a few directions and it actually goes down towards the solar plexus, towards the small intestines, and it moves up also into the throat and into the tongue, to the eyes. And then it also moves out side to side, down through the arms into the pinky finger, down and through the arms to the pinky finger. So just breathing awareness into the heart chakra and also the lung meridian, which has a similar type of path beginning in the middle of the torso the solar plexus, and then working its way down to the large intestine and then back up through the collarbones, and then again down through the arms, this time going out into the thumbs. 
And so then you can bring your hands into just light fists and just little taps on the chest. Breathing into the heart space, just awakening the chi can move down and around through the chest, can move up to the sides of the neck. Feeling any stagnant energy release into back into the chest and the heart. You can exhale, release your hands and just allow your chin to drop down to your chest. Take a full deep inhale and exhale. And slowly allow the chin to move over towards the shoulder and then open up through the throat. Chin to the other shoulder, down and around. And opening. And just continue with your own movement in your own time. And whenever that feels complete, you can switch directions. And just allowing your neck to open up side to side, throat and back. Slowly bringing the head back to center. I'll just place my left hand towards the earth and then allow the left side of the neck to just open up. Dropping the right ear down to the right shoulder. And breathe. Feeling into the space. Inhale, head back to center. Right fingertips to the earth, left ear to left shoulder. Allow there to be an opening through the side of the neck. Deepen with your breath. Soft jaw, soft eyes. Inhale, coming back up. And slowly open your eyes. And we're gonna start with our first yin pose of working with this energy in the heart space. So if you do have blocks, this is a really nice pose to use blocks. If you don't, Feel free to get creative with whatever's around you. Even um, like I have some meditation cushions which are a little bit more firm or even sometimes like the back of a couch, you can lay over it like a bolster. But the way I'll set this up with the blocks is one block is lower, this medium height. One block is higher. And I'm gonna lay back here and allow that lower block to line up, to line up with the shoulder blades in the back of the heart. And then we'll line up the top block with the head and then opening out the arms from side to side. And you can either keep your knees bent here or you can extend your legs straight. So that's the first option. And what we're working towards here is just this opening of the front of the chest, the heart, the collarbones, anything that wants to be released, any stagnant energy, 
opening up through and down the arms. And if this feels fine for you, some of you might feel really open. If it feels fine for you, then you can actually lower the block under the head, just letting yourself go a little deeper into that stretch. Checking in with your body. Using your props, adjusting however you need to. And now just being with your heart. Continue to notice the breath. What am I feeling right now? Having that gentle awareness of the lung and the heart meridian. Opening through the front of the heart. And down through both sides of the arms to the pinky into the thumb. Feel the chest expand with your inhale and with your exhale. The lungs are the first place in the body where we receive information where we receive and synthesize information from the outside world. And through the lungs, we process that information. And then we exhale the carbon dioxide that release anything that we don't need in our body. And our heart actually takes all of that fresh oxygen and sends it into the bloodstream, into all the other vital organs. And so we're filling up with fresh oxygen, moving into the heart space. And in yin yoga, we hold the poses longer. We work with the architecture of the skeleton and all the ligaments that are holding the bones together. And those ligaments need more time to open. And so we create that space by holding our poses one minute, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, listening, being with exactly what is. And so some signs, if our heart chi is out of balance, is sometimes we have these prolonged periods of sadness, or sometimes we're not able to feel emotions or to express or to cry. And grief and sadness are an inevitable part of life. And the organs are here to help us process them and transmute them. But we don't want that energy to get stuck. We want it to continue to flow freely what felt experienced wisdom can we receive from that grief or from that sadness or from that anger? And how can we sit in the discomfort of just feeling it and letting it be what it is? Nothing that needs to be fixed or changed, but rather 
opened to the way that a lotus flower just gently blossoms open? How can we create that space within our awareness of holding, being with, breathing, opening to exactly what is? If you'd like to practice a pranayama with this pose, you can just slowly breathe in through the mouth, like as if you're sipping air through a straw. And imagine as if you're breathing that in right to the center of the heart. And then just letting it out through the mouth. Maybe you hear a gentle slight constriction in the back of the throat, just allowing your breath to become audible to yourself so that we can drop the thoughts and be even more deeply with what is. In yin yoga, there is always a gentle balance of deep listening with the body. So if you feel at any point that you need to readjust or listen to your body in any way, listen to that. See what's needed, see what wants to be adjusted. The thing that we want to avoid is pushing or forcing ourselves into anything that doesn't feel, um, anything that feels unnatural or painful or sharp. We welcome the discomfort, but we breathe into that edge and we have intuitive awareness around where we might be pushing ourselves too far and when to listen and to back off. Notice if any of the muscles of your face have tightened and see if you can soften them. Relax between the eyebrows and the back of the neck. We'll hold here for another minute or so. I'll just create some space for silence for you to be whatever it is you're feeling. Knowing that you're held in this community of other people practicing here with you. Nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. Just taking this time to notice your body, the full awareness, connecting with the breath.
take a full deep inhale and exhale we'll begin to slowly transition out of this pose and a way that we can do this is just to draw our arms back closer together and then support ourselves on our elbows and then use the abdominal muscles to slowly press away and to gently find your way back into a seated position. Taking that moment just to notice just a few minutes of being with our body. What is beginning to shift or open? Often when I start to go into um, feelings of more depression or sadness, I, I can sometimes realize that actually there's just a real stagnancy in the heart chakra, in the body that wants to flow more freely. And this is a really powerful pose that we can use in those times of, let me give myself five minutes on my back, just opening my heart Maybe step outside and just see if anything can shift just in starting to open and move the chi. So from here, we'll do a gentle counter pose of a wide knee child's pose. And bring your knees nice and wide to the edges of your mat. Sink the heels back towards the hips, back to the heels, and then rest. Rest your forehead, forehead to the earth. Allow the hips to become heavy and to just sink down, down. Feeling the support of Mother Earth here with you, nurturing you. Our earth is going through a huge ascension process right now. Her self and all the consciousness that exists on this planet and a lot of the denser energies are being purged. They're coming to the surface. They're coming out into the consciousness right now. They're being expressed. And sometimes just those simple reminders of feeling our feet, feeling our body on the earth is an opportunity to just realign. Remember, I'm not alone. We're all in this together. It's a lot happening. Everything that we're feeling is important. And we're all going to go through these shifts in consciousness in a different way. Some of us might have the anger and the expression and want to be out and saying things and speaking up. Some of us might want to just retreat and just feel like to be in our own space. And one is not better than the other. They're both needed. So we can just give ourselves permission in whatever way that we are moving through the shifts and the changes and the energies and the frequencies just, you're okay exactly as you are. And Mother Earth is here with us and going through this ascension process with us. We can always come back to that simple truth of being supported by this Earth. So from here, you can bring your left arm underneath your right into a twist. We'll keep this in a wide knee child's pose, but just rest your head to one side and then stretch the right arm out. And make sure you can see. Just like that. You can 
continue to breathe. What can I create more space for in my being right now? Slowly re-extend that left arm and weave the right arm underneath the left. Threading the needle in the other direction. With each exhale, we find an offering, a letting go, offering up to something greater than ourselves. With each inhale, you can just welcome more compassion. Where have I been hard on myself? Where have I been avoiding my feelings? Breathing in, Allow, breathing out, just notice, release. Slowly bring that arm back and then stretch both arms out in front. Lift the hips above the knees and then melt the heart down to the earth. You can either bring your forehead or your chin or your sternum and then bring your hands a little wider, even as wide as the edges of the mat and continue to release. Noticing the space behind the heart. That place of support. Full awareness to the back of the heart, the front of the heart. Soft jaw, soft eye. Inhale, slowly come on up into a tabletop position. We'll come into a few cat cows. Inhale, lift the back of the heart around the spine. And then exhale, open out. Inhale. Exhale. Follow your own breath, your own time. Be exquisitely aware and tender, compassionate with every movement of the body. And then if you'd like to bring some more organic movement, you can sway your hips a little side to side. You can look over one shoulder and then round the spine. You can just allow the body to move however it wants to move. You can sink the hips back towards the heels and then you can come forward, open the heart. Notice if your jaw has tightened up, relax. And then we'll slowly come on down onto the belly. 
bringing the forearms to the earth, bringing the palms together to meet. You can allow your elbows to be a nice little shelf underneath the shoulders. And now just see if you can allow your heart to melt and release even more here. And then release the back of the neck and the head. Just letting it all go. Inhale, slowly lift the head back up. We'll bring our hands underneath our shoulders. You can do a baby cobra. Just hug the elbows into the side of the body. Hug the legs together. And then exhale, slowly press back up. Finding your seat. Any comfortable seat will close the eyes again. Rest the palms on the thighs. And then just notice what's happening within and all around me. Allow the shoulder blades to rest down the back and notice if your spine is nice and aligned, a long spine, gently lifting the back of the head and allow all the muscles to soften down the face. Bring the awareness back into the heart, a slight lift up through the heart space. Exhale. and gently open the eyes. We'll bring the soles of the feet together and the knees nice and wide for our butterfly pose. This is a nice one to have some blocks nearby or if you have a big pillow, something to rest your head on. We'll inhale, just lengthen our spine, nice open heart. Exhale, come on down and then rest your forehead. Sometimes even two blocks are needed to get open here. And it's helpful when we can rest into these poses and not be holding with our muscles. In yin yoga, we want everything to relax. We want there to be this waterfall of just softening and allowing gravity to the, do this deeper work of really opening up the skeleton through all these connective tissues. And the connective tissues are where the meridian system is thought to be held. So we're balancing on that deep energetic level of really shifting chi in the body. Allow the back body to open and release.
Notice if there are any places of holding or resistance. Can you let go even more deeply? So much in life that we cannot control. And so to develop this muscle, this practice of letting go, being guided, releasing our grasp. So powerful. Continue to breathe into the heart and the lung meridian, opening up the back of the body Breathe down and through the back of the heart, chest, to the lower back and the hips. And what if in this moment everything was okay? that you were safe. Just breathe into the presence of what is here right now. Safe to feel. Safe to move into these places of discomfort. Safe to release our grasp our desire to know. Full surrender to everything, the sensations you might be feeling in the inner creases of the hips. We are developing our capacity to accept what life brings to us by learning to first accept what we find in our bodies. It's so true, often the only way out is through. So rather than running away from our emotions or our discomfort or pain in the body, can we give it the time and the attention and the love that it's been calling out for? Hold this for three more breaths. Inhale, begin to press away. Gently place our hands on the outsides of the knees, draw the knees together. And we'll come into a twist here so you can bring your left knee bent to the earth and then cross the right foot over the left knee for a gentle twist. We'll bring the left arm up and then twist to the right. Soften the gaze over the back shoulder. Feel into the sensations in the hips. Nice long spine. Exhale, bring it back. We'll bring the right leg to the earth. 
bent knee, cross the left foot over the right. Nice long spine, right arm reaches up and twist. center. Slowly uncross the legs. Just find a comfortable seat. Hmm. And just notice how your body's feeling. Any places that feel more open. Any shifts in your heart. How's the quality of your breath? Are you continuing to breathe down into the belly and the lower path? And gently open the eyes. And for the next pose, I'm going to give a couple options. I'd love for us to do an inversion, inversion practice, and two options that might feel really good for you. Um, the first is legs up the wall. So if you have that, or even legs up on the edge of a couch works too. Um, but some of you that are wanting a little deeper stretch, I invite you to come into shoulder stand. And a way that I like to do the shoulder stand is actually with the wall. That can feel really supportive. So I'm going to put a blanket and then I'm going to line up the tops of my shoulders with the edge of the blanket. And that will create a little extra space behind my um, vertebrae, behind the neck, so that we don't compress any of those vertebrae. And then I just come on down. So again, first option, you can just put your legs up the wall. Sometimes just a closed door can be a good spot. And then those of you that are wanting to go a little deeper and have a, a full experience of an inversion, you can walk your hips as close as you can to the wall, line up the top edge of the blanket with the tops of the shoulders and then press into the wall to lift the hips away. Walk the shoulder blades underneath the back and you can keep your feet on the wall for that support or you can practice lifting the feet away from the wall and then coming into a full shoulder stand. So you can't quite see my elbows right now, but I want to bring the elbows as close together as I can underneath the back. There's still, of course, quite a bit of space between them just to create that shelf and that support. And then at any point when you're done with your shoulder stand, you can just gently come on down and do the legs up the wall. Have a little cut on my blanket there. So I'll also just demonstrate the shoulder stand from this side if this is new for anyone. to hold the shoulder stand for at least 60 seconds, sometimes longer. And a variation on that is halasana, which is to drop the toes back behind the head. 
And then we get a stretch along the back of the hamstrings, which can feel really good. Continue to listen to your body. See what feels good here. Moving all the energy in the back body, soft jaw, soft eyes, long deep breath. When we tap into our healthy heart chi, we have that greater ability to feel into the interconnectedness of all of life. We're able to have this deep reverence, a kind of reverence that where we look at a beautiful sunset or maybe even just a flower and can cry from the beauty of it. It's being able to feel that connectedness, to remember the little things, the beautiful things that are around and existing. So if you're still in your halasana, this is a good time to unwind and then just rest your legs up the wall if that's available. If you do have a blanket behind you, I would scooch off the blanket a little bit so that the blanket lines up again with the back of the heart. And then you can just like open your arms out wide to either side and just again, just really feel the movement in the chi the energy, the open flow of the heart chakra. Long, deep inhales and exhales.
how can we deepen into a greater reverence for everything that we do not know. A great mystery being with that essence of the feminine. That dark, fertile space where all of life can be born from. As you allow your consciousness to rest deeper and deeper into that dark, fertile, mysterious void. What do you see as possible in this great shift in the new earth what ways of being and rela relating and connecting and governing do you see or feel is possible And it's when we drop from the mind into the heart, we have access to this greater wisdom through that feeling. Your body, your connection to source. What personal seeds or intentions do you wish to plant into that fertile void? And begin to breathe back into the heart. If your legs are at the wall, you can bend the knees and bring the soles of the feet together, the knees wide apart. That can be a nice transition. Pressing the feet into the wall. And then in your own time, drawing the knees back together, turning to one side, coming up, take your time, be gentle with yourself. We'll move into our next pose by extending both legs wide out to the either side. Wide-legged forward bend. But we'll first just spread the toes. This is a nice one to sit up a little bit on a blanket. If you have any knee injuries or want to be careful with your knees, you can also 
roll up um, something to place under the knees. Sometimes even just a rolled up shirt or blanket or sock what you need there. And you can always bend your knees too if you need to, just taking that pressure off. So inhale, we'll just find a nice long spine. And then we're gonna go over to the left. So just sweeping down. And then coming back up. Inhale. Sweeping over to the right. Inhale. Sweeping down to the center. Inhale. And then grab hold of your block if you have one. I'm going to place it here as a little support to now side body open. And I'm just going to place my elbow on the block. You can extend out the arm for a few breaths, or you can totally relax that top arm just on a block or on the floor in front of you. What's most important here is we're just opening up the side body, opening up through the meridians, the side body and down into the hips. The sitting bones remain connected to the earth. You can just soften your eyes closed and be with the sensations right here, right in the side body. Soft jaw. Soft eyes, soft back of the neck and the heart. Breathe into the heart. Allow yourself to feel whatever you feel. Breathe out more compassion for yourself. It's a lot to be alive at this time. It's a lot for our souls to have chosen to incarnate, to be here for these great changes. Sometimes we just need to break down or let go or feel the emotions. And that's part of the work too, of just being in a human body. Next inhale, we'll slowly come on up. Mm. And just notice side to side, as some of that energy begins to move. Fresh chi welcoming back into the side body. We place our block next to the other leg. And then again, elbow comes on down. You can rest your head, feel into that side body stretch. You can reach your arm overhead, get a stretch. And then whenever you're ready, you can just rest that arm 
Rest it on a block or on the floor, on a pillow. Mm. Continue to breathe with everything that's present right here. the mind wanders, just notice it. Bring it back to the body. This moment, breathing in, I allow. Breathing out, I send compassion. Breathing in, I know I'm not alone. And breathing out, I send that compassion to all the other beings in the world who may need it at this time, all those that are suffering and hurting. Practicing, sending the benefits of these practices also to them. Beside our props. We'll place one hand under each knee and draw the legs back together. Let's give your legs a little massage. You can lay down on your back and for a happy baby pose. Grab hold of the soles of the feet and let yourself sway a little side to side. Pull down on the feet as you allow your knees to widen out to the sides. And then feel a connection of your lower back to the earth. Feel that connection. Exhale, release. We'll come into a supine twist. So the arms go out wide to either side. Shift the hips over to the right edge of your mat. And then you can bring your knees high into the left. If you wanna go even deeper, you can cross the right knee over the left knee. And then soften the gaze over the right shoulder. And again, awareness into the lung, the lungs and the heart meridian. Moving from the heart center down through the arms. One meridian going down the side into the pinky. And the lung meridian going up to the side into the thumb. Breathe into that opening. Inhale the knees to center, uncross the legs, hips to center. 
And then the hips over to the left side of the mat. Knees come up over to the right. Soften the gaze over the left shoulder this time. If you want to go deeper, cross the left knee over the right knee. Open into the supine twist. Breathe awareness from your heart down through the arm to the pinky finger and the thumb. Long, deep inhales and exhales. Inhale, slowly bring the knees back, the hips back, and then give yourself a nice hug, embracing yourself with tenderness, compassion. And let's get really tight in this ball. You can squinch up your face, you can even lift your head, you can make fists with your hand, you can get tight, 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 squeeze. And exhale, release. We'll come into Shavasana. Final resting pose. Grab whatever you need here. If you want to put a blanket under your knees or under your head, pillow over your eyes. If you brought an essential oil, this could be a nice place to just give yourself a nice scent. And then whenever you're settled, we'll just begin to offer up our body to the support of the earth. Allowing your body to fully integrate all of these practices into your being.
the heart see if there's any wisdom the heart wishes to reveal to you any words of wisdom any feelings any images Gently bend the knees and stretch out the arms. When you're ready, you can roll to one side. Slowly finding your way up into a seat. You can gently bring your hands to your heart. Again, let's just Call to mind all those who may need some peace, all those who may be suffering or feeling deep pain, anger, sadness, grief, all of these emotions. May we send the benefits of this practice to all those who need it most at this time. May we thank our teachers past, present, and future. 
With gratitude, we honor each other. We honor this practice. And we honor that guiding light within our own hearts. From my heart to yours, we bow. Namaste. Thank you all so much.